What's going on guys? My name is BJ and this is Praska Boys Garage. Now today we are starting part six of our ATA 110. You can see it on the tail right behind me. And if you've been following this build, you know how much work we've done to get to this point. So I am ready to button it up. We are at the finale. I can guarantee by the end of this video, we will be riding it. So I've got a lot of work left to do. I'm going to get you guys set up and we'll start talking about what's left. All right, well, here's what we've got left to accomplish. We need all the front controls to be completely hooked up. That means throttle and throttle cable, front brakes and cables, and that rear disc brake and hydraulic setup. We also need to grab a gas tank, fuel line, fuel filter, and throw the exhaust on. And let's not forget the entire mess of wiring we've got to completely clean up and look good on the ATV. I want running headlights, running taillights, and a great running motor. Once all the internals are complete, we can move on to then the body and the racks, but until then, I've got all that work left to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on the tripod and get started. Well, that took way longer than I had anticipated. I had to route it so I could still lift up this choke cable without it interfering with anything. But also look at the distance between the bottom of the fuel tank and the top of this carb. It's going to make for a pain in the butt if we have to tune that thing and move that needle around only because I'm going to have to remove the gas tank every time I want to take the carburetor off. So fuel system is done. Let's move on to the controls. You want to see it go? Yeah. Well, it's not ready yet. We're working on it right now. What yeah. do you think, though? Do you like it? Yep. Yeah. Do, like, do you like the yellow? Yeah, I like the yellow green. It's black. It's so fancy. Are you going to be done? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It'll be done soon, okay? <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, one issue I usually run into with these cables is there's not enough slack to allow the slide to sit all the way down. They do have adjustments in them, but this is turned all the way in. And as you can see, this thing is already all the way pushed down. So I've got to have more slack in that to allow for my throttle. So I'm going to go ahead. I got to take this cable off and I got to resize it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the end off because I have to be able to slide the cable out of the casing. All right, so next what you're gonna do is take a cutoff wheel and cut off the distance you need that you want to add slack into the system. I know I've got about an inch of slack here and I already know that that's not enough. So I'm gonna go about an inch and a half in, cut that off and we're gonna try from there. All right, I'm gonna grab a pick and clean the end out. Now you're gonna grab your cable and fish it back through the casing. All right, you're gonna to wanna to grab yourself some scrap piece of wood, a soldering iron, and some solder. Take a drill bit and go ahead and drill a hole into the wood. Not too deep because you don't need to go very far. And ultimately what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn solder into that hole and then stick this cable right in the plug. All right, so you saw me use the compressor to blow it off. That way it would harden much faster and I didn't have to hold it for as long, but you can see the results. So what we want to do now is clean that piece up with a file and then get it to test fit and then put it back in the ATV.
There you go, just like that, perfect fit. All right, well here you can really see what I was talking about with that slack. You can see the difference between the end of it and this casing. That's what we needed because we've got to get it to fit in this housing. Once it's all fit in, we'll take the final slack out with that adjustment. Hi, kitty. All right, guys, as far as the front end is concerned, I did get those front brakes completed as well as that throttle cable. I went ahead and routed that hydraulic line all the way through the ATV, kind of where I want it, but that brake is still sitting on the ground. So it was sold in one piece, so all the line has already been bled. It should be ready to go. So I'm gonna get that mounted up and then I'm gonna get all the lines zip tied and cleaned up. call that a success all right guys now it's been a few days since i've been in the shop finishing up those controls and i am back to do exhaust and wiring now when we talk about exhaust we're just bolting it in it's super easy but wiring completely different animal this thing takes time especially if you want to do it right so on this video i am going to time lapse you through it but if you want a how-to detailed version of these wiring harnesses i will leave a link in the description below on a video i did giving you the step by steps you need to take in order to put one of these things together now this wiring harness i did have to make a few models modifications to and let's talk about them right now now think back to part four we rebuilt this motor and we used the wiring harness to get it running well what i did not do was plug in the headlights or the taillights and so when i got the wiring harness set up here's what i found out the high beam and low beam wires were actually flipped around so all i had to do was unplug those and plug them in the opposite sides now we are using a universal harness and it only comes with one taillight connector no problem though with our two i just spliced them together but then soon ran into my next issue which both connectors were female ends so all i did was look at my junk pile i found two male end connectors for lights i spliced them together and now we have a jump connection between the two and everything functions as advertised so all that's left to do is now put it in the atv All right, well, that wiring is kind of a hot mess right now. I haven't quite zip tied it up, but everything is on and plugged in. My goal is to make sure everything functions first. We're gonna get this thing to turn over and maybe even run, and then I'll go ahead, zip tie it all, and clean it all up. All right, we'll go ahead and throw the key on. And low beams, high beams. We got brake, oh, and we got brake lights too. And brake lights. Awesome. Okay, let's see if it'll turn over. 
So we're gonna hold our brake down. Brake lights are on. <laughs> All right, let's see if it'll run. <sighs> a lot of hard work about to be tested, just a second. Whew. All right, we got our cinder block in place. That was a lot of work. Hopefully it goes good. Should we go choke? Let's go choke. Let's fill that bowl up. All right, here we go. It is idling a little high. We'll make all the final adjustments once I get everything situated. <laughs> We're just gonna let it run for a minute. All right, guys, well, I just spent that time getting all the wiring buttoned up and zip tied in. I even went ahead and wired in both brake lights. That way, when you push down on the brake handle, whether it's front or rear, it's going to light up and you can start it with one hand. So now that we know it's wired up and it's running good, it's time to put the plastics on. Well, I have to say I'm actually kind of sad because all we've got left to do is put the racks on and this thing is done. So without further ado, let's finish this thing up. I almost forgot, it needs one more thing. All right, guys, this thing is complete, 100% done, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Now all that I got left to do is walk around with you guys and show you every single part of it, and then we'll get to test riding. Oh, <laughs> 
All right, guys, well, that is a wrap for this project. And man, I, I don't know what else to say. It turned out absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for following along. You guys are absolutely amazing and I couldn't ask for better fans. Now, if you wanna do me a favor, let me know down in the comments what you liked most about this project and maybe if there's something you would've changed or done differently, let me know and it can help me in my future builds. Now, if you like this series, slam that thumbs up for me and also if you have not yet subscribed, and where you're watching this part, <laughs> do yourself and myself a favor. Hit that subscribe button. That way I can guarantee I will see you on the next one. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself in check. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. How to feel? Die with no regrets. Sounds good. Why don't you take it around one more time for me, okay? Shoot until I fall.